Hey folks, Captain Mikey here. Beautiful day in North Florida. Well, got a, the car all fueled up here. Got a little extra snacks, a little extra fuel for Captain Mikey. Time to do a road trip to take on another challenge. That's right, another challenge. Cause that's the way my channel seems to be going. Challenges, you guys love them, so I'll keep bumbling them out. We got a bit of a drive to get this challenge. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Great day for a ride in the country. I'm really excited about today's challenge. I know I say that a lot, but I really am. Because this challenge combines two of my favorite things, fishing, and history. This is a challenge I've wanted to do for quite some time. I forgot about this one, to be honest. And it's something that a lot of you have actually requested I do anyway. Recently, I've noticed a couple videos on this same challenge. They reminded me, oh yeah, I want to do that. Now, I know I'm going to hear from a lot of you that, hey, somebody's already done this challenge. Well, to be honest, almost every challenge has been done several times. Recently, Millican Fishing he just did a version of this, and he did a fantastic job with it. I really, really enjoyed that video. Great job, buddy. I've heard First State Fishing did one of these as well. I haven't actually watched that video, but I heard he did it. I am not the first one to do this challenge. Unlike most of those YouTubers, though, I'll give credit where credit was due. So check out Milliken Fishing and his version of this video, and of course, stop by first day fishing and see what his video was like too this challenge has been done before of course we're gonna do it with a little captain mikey twist we're gonna do it my way i'm gonna do it to the max to the extreme what are we doing today well today we're taking a ride out to one of my favorite antique balls we're talking rod reel and lures the whole kit and caboodle that's right antique rod antique reel and antique bass lures i'm gonna try to see what i can find at this antique store here and i'm gonna try to keep it under a budget of 50 dollars that might be really tough these are highly sought after collectibles a lot of the lures may go for more than 50 dollars you put the name antique on anything you can pretty much guarantee there's going to be a decent price tag on it when Milliken set out to do this, he set out to an antique store to find some antique fishing lures. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to find any lures, so he did settle on a rod and reel and put together an awesome video and caught some awesome fish with it. And I saw a fantastic video from Ace Fishing where him and his father went out and used some antique lures, but they used them on modern fishing gear. And I'm looking for stuff from the 30s, 40s, maybe even up to the 60s, but true antiques. These things are gonna be ancient. They're gonna be corroded. They're gonna be well-worn and torn. To me, that's the true part of this challenge, finding some antique stuff that actually work. Well, no matter what I find, I'm gonna fish it the way it came. If I find some lures and they got some beat up old rusty hooks on it, well, so be it. That's just part of the challenge. If I find an old rod, that's all rusted up and the eyes are all corroded? Well, so be it, that's part of the challenge. And if I find an old reel that barely cranks, well, so be it, that's part of the challenge. We're gonna take all these things that I can find and fish them the way they came to be. With one exception, I will replace the line on whatever reel we find. So here we go, it's time to set out and try the antique store complete fishing challenge rod reel and lures let's do this here we go this place is just awesome they've got so much stuff in here it's mind-boggling but i guarantee i'm gonna be able to find what i'm looking for in there that's it that's where we're headed the antique ball Tackle box, tackle box and contents. Actually quite a bit. We'd definitely be able to catch some fish with all this. Lots of I'd like to see if we can find something a little more antique than that. 
1987 though. Now that's what I'm talking about when it comes to antique lures. And this is one thing that I was a little bit afraid of though. Looking at a lot of these antiques are also highly collectible. A lot of these are already taking up the entire budget. We try to stick to the budget. The budget of no more than $50. You're fishy, fishy, fishy. It, what an amazing place. Like, I don't even know where to look next. More lures. I mean, anytime anything's behind a case like this, this is probably gonna be pushing the budget. There's a cool looking little reel back there. A few more reels in case, and they're not bad actually. Only $12.99. I got a lure there for $4.99. Look how small those are. I don't know if you guys can tell from my hand. Super tiny little vintage reels. There's just so much stuff in this store. This is ridiculous. I've gone into three different booths and there's 50 of them here. Check out these fencing swords. That is one killer looking sword. Hello, my name is Amigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. This is my boomstick. <laughs> this is a little more what we're talking about. This is this old steel rod. Johnson Century. This is a steel rod, guys. Like this is this is metal. I wonder if it still works. This is really cool. Look at the drag on this. Wow, that is crazy. Old metal rod. Johnson Century, forty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Ouch! That's like the entire budget. It is pretty pretty darn badass though. And it does spin freely. And it definitely sounds as if it's working. I may have to come back to this one, even though it's right at the very top end of the budget. That is insane. That is pretty cool. I believe that's a true temper rod. I, I, I've seen those before. They're from the 30s or 40s. Oh man, I used to play with one of these when I was a kid. Am I an antique? Look at these old toys. Well, he's pretty creepy. I am your father. Ooh. That is an ugly mouse. Peppino. It's just so cool how much stuff is in here. How much history. Just imagining where some of this stuff came from or who used it back then. Oh, look at this old army helmet. Oh. Wonder what hit him in the head. Is that an old tackle box? Yes, it is. Old tackle box, no tackle. Found some pretty cool stuff, but we haven't quite found what we're looking for just yet. Book of the Black Bass. The secrets. It's full of the secrets. So much stuff. I'm sure I've passed by what I'm looking for already, just because there's so much to take in. Look at this old rod. Look at this thing. That is antique. No reel though. That is a cool rod. That is pretty sick though. Thirty dollars. We're getting closer though, guys. Getting closer. Everywhere I go, I just keep looking around, and there's more and more stuff. Like I could be. Oh, Jesus! You just scared the crap out of me. That's freaky. I don't care who you are. That's freaky. Check out this bad boy. Bamboo rod. It is huge. Look at the reel on this thing. Oh wow. This thing's heavy. What do they want for this thing? Whoa, $95. There's another one. Here's another rod. This looks like another kind of ba bamboo, I think. Oh, it's got some pretty heavy splits in it. And it does have a reel attached to it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And the rod's in really rough shape. Yeah, the rod's all broken up. Oh, that's too bad. Another big old reel. That one's forty-eight dollars for that reel. Got a couple more over here. There we go. A lot of these aren't quite the antiques that I'm talking about, and they're looking at like fifteen dollars a piece. Dude, some of these I actually have in my box right now. All right, guys. I keep coming back to this. You know, I've looked around and seen so many other things, so many other possibilities, but this one just keeps coming back into my head here. From the 30s, from the 40s, it's as antique as we're gonna get. It doesn't seem to be working. The rod is metal, it's got a nice little flex to it. $48. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what kind of deal we can get on this thing. 
be able to grab one or two of those losers over there. Oh man, did we score guys? Check that out. Oh, score! They asked me to kindly not film in there anymore, especially when I was doing the transactions. You know what? Let me get into the car where you guys can hear this and explain what we found. But it was a huge score. Oh yeah, huge, huge score, huge score. Wow, wow, did we score. Oh, ah, I can't believe what we got away with here, guys. I went up to the counter to pay for that rod and reel and they were asking $48 for it. That was gonna take up the entire budget. Apparently, they didn't want me filming, <laughs> so I had to turn the camera off. Well, I offered $28 for the rod and reel. Well, it turns out they were having a big sale here because the holidays are coming up, and it was 20% off anyway. But I explained why I was offered that because I still wanted to buy a couple lures. I needed to try to stay in this $50 budget. A lady happened to be that owns one of these booths here happened to be walking in and she told me she had something for me. She had this box full of all these old lures. I mean, a lot of them that I can see in here are, are antique and there's some that aren't antique. She's pretty sure none of them have a tremendous value on it. But for what I'm looking for, it's absolutely perfect. Some of these are definitely from the 30s and 40s. She was just gonna put them on a bulk sale of a dollar or two each. Check it out, guys. Check out what's in this box. Look at all those lures in there. Some of these are just crazy, too. Like, holy crap. But I can see some old heavens. I can see some old, these are like a devil horse. Uh, look at this, this one here, that's called a Hellbender. There's some crazy, lures in here. Oh, that'd be cool. Look at that. Absolutely. That is wild, guys. Absolutely wild. But all these lures, she gave me this entire box for $12. That is flipping awesome. We scored. We scored huge. Are you kidding me? I ended up having to pay $40 for the rod and reel. $12 for that, so I did go over budget by $2. Big deal. This is going to be absolutely incredible, guys. $52 we got the AMT challenge all wrapped up. Rod, reel, and a whole whack of lures. Let's hit the road, get home, organize this stuff, and see what these antiques can do. Oh yeah, baby, I'm excited. This is amazing. Stay tuned, folks. You're gonna love this. Well, here we go, guys. The antique rod, reel, and lure challenge is on. If you're familiar with my other videos, you recognize this lake. This is where I doubled up on. Did a little research on this rod and reel here. The rod itself is called a True Temper rod. True Temper made these rods in the 30s and the 40s. This rod is probably somewhere in the 1940s. About a 70 year old rod. That's pretty amazing. Now the, the reel's not as old as the rod. Started producing these in the very late 50s and continued on into the 70s. This reel, uh, judging from what I can see, is gonna be in the 1960s somewhere. That is antique, my friends. This is gonna be a challenge. We're gonna try some of these top water lures first. I think this is gonna be a phenomenal day if we can get this equipment to actually work. What? The first lure we're gonna try is top water. This is a head and crazy crawler. Absolutely insane looking lure. Did some research on it. It's been produced since the 30s. This one is plastic, uh, and they started producing the plastic ones in the 50s. This one, this lure itself, is in pretty decent shape. The hooks are kind of goofy. This is gonna be what we're gonna start with for sure. All right, here we go. First cast with the antique rod, reel, and lure. Said it doesn't want to let go right away. Casting. It's not easy. See, there it goes. It didn't want to let go. It gets all messed up. It doesn't want to let go for some reason. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, I can't get it. To, why won't it work? <laughs> this is going to be such a pain in the ass today. Okay, it's loose. Let's try it again. We got a cast. It's out. And of course, they're into the weeds. The retrieve on this isn't too, too bad. And again, it doesn't want to let go. Oh, no. Now you let go. Now you let go. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, look at that. We just busted the handle. Oh, no. 
<laughs> wow, things are not working out for our favor at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, this challenge is not working out very well at all. When I hit the, the release, the bail, there's this little tab right here. And that tab's supposed to go in. It goes in slightly, not all the way. So the line catches on it. When you start reeling it again, that tab pops back out. Surgery, surgery, surgery. So here it is, guys. This thing was pretty gummed up in here. I'm just going to keep playing with it. I got a little paper towel, and I'm going to try to clean it. It'll start loosening it up. Just old and corroded, and that's all it is. Check this out. Hit the button. Line goes out. Let's try it. Yeah, we cast on the first try. Woo! I may have just saved the day, guys. Antique real mechanic, Captain Mikey. Yes! <laughs> it's working. I got bass busting like crazy over here. I'm gonna try to sneak up beside it. Oh my goodness. He got one! I got one! <laughs> I got one on the antique rod reel! Yes! Look out, guys! Oh, yeah! Oh, it's a decent fish, too! It's a good one! Oh! We got him! We got him! We got him! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's a nice fish, too! Ooh. <laughs> he ate that shit! He ate that crazy crawler on top! Wow! The antique rod got one! I'm super stoked. All the problems I had trying to get this thing to, to go. Yeah, buddy! Oh, sorry about the rest of the hooks, bud. Hope you had your tetanus shot. We got it! Yes! Yeah! Check that out! What a beautiful fish! Caught on my 1940s rod and my 1960s reel and my 1950s lure. Yeah! Antique challenge! Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, that was amazing. That was Which amazing. Which one of these crazy lures should I try? This goofy looking thing. I believe this is called a hellbender. This is definitely an older one. The hooks were a little beat up. Metal lip. I like it that it's white. This is definitely a shad lake. The bass are feeding on those shad. I like on the back, it's got this little blade on it. It's gonna add that little extra flash. I don't know how deep it's gonna dive, but we're gonna try this hellbender. It's got a really, really cool action to it. We're on. We're on, guys. We're on again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. It's hard to reel this thing in. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Antique rod and helmet. Oh. Look out. We got another one. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, I was worried about this one because the, the hooks were really bent up on it. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The Hellbender got me a beautiful bass. Another one on the antique rod and reel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we got more action going on over here. I'm going to see if we get another one. This reel is definitely getting harder and harder to reel. Trying to reel that bass in. Ooh, that wasn't easy. This is definitely one of the toughest challenges I've ever taken on. It's the equipment we're using. It's old, it's ancient, it's giving me so many problems, but we are making it work. It's happening. It's happening, guys. Yes, yes, I think we're on. I think we're on. We are. Yes, yes, we got another one. <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, he's a good one. Oh, no way. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. This is the second time, guys. Look out. Antique rod doubled up. It doubled up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Two of them. <laughs> on one hook. 
Two fish on one hook. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. They're barely hooked. <laughs> oh my god. This is the second. Oh, dude, oh, oh, there goes one. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's one. Little guys. Oh. This is the second time in a week I doubled up on this lake. This is incredible. Wow! Antique rod. Woo! <laughs> antique rod, antique lures, antique reel. This is an incredible, incredible lake. <laughs> All right, we know this lure works. It's that, let's just switch up. Let's put on, put on something else. All right, next, we're gonna try out this bad little boy. He's got this weird bar, or, you know, guard on it. Definitely, this is like the first square bill ever. We're definitely gonna try this one out. I think this one's gonna work excellent. It's got a real slow, wide wobble to it. Reels making that funny noise again. Maybe this lure just isn't isn't a very good lure. This area that I'm fishing right now, pretty much get catch a fish almost every time I go by here. We're gonna have to make a move. This isn't isn't holding fish today. Or this lure sucks. Oh, wait, just as I said it, there it is. There it is. We got one. That was a good hit. Oh, this is a better fish. This is a better fish, guys. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, oh he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Get him in the boat. Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> just as I said it. Look at that. It just popped out, too. Oh, my God. Look at that! Woo! On the antique lure, this little square bill thing. I don't even know what it is. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I can't believe the success I'm having out here today. Absolutely insane. Woo! Absolutely awesome. Awesome. Yes. All right. Thank you, buddy. That's the best fish today, too. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. This is so flippin' well, cool. Well, our little square bill is no longer. I think from one of the rusty eyes on this uh, rod, snap the line and it went flying and sank to the bottom. I wanna go back to top water anyway. I believe this is a devil horse. This is an antique devil horse. It's made out of balsa wood. Got three semi-decent hooks on it. Let's just see how I can work this thing first. Oh, oh no, the reel's not reeling. It's seizing up. The reel just seized up on me, guys. I can't turn it. Oh no. Did we just kill our reel? This isn't good. It's ground to a halt here, guys. I think we might be done. I can barely turn it. Dang, damn it. Well, the reel's seizing up pretty good. I'm able to reel it, but I really got to work it. Really, really got to work hard to reel it. Hard enough just to try to reel in this lure. If I get a fish, it's going to be a heck of a heck of a battle. That's for sure. Oh, look at that. Looks pretty good over there. If I can get a cast on that, I think I might got a good chance. Oh, no. Stay out of the lily pads, please. Come on. I got him. I got one. <laughs> he took that top water. Oh, I got to get real man. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, oh Jesus. Pass loose in the boat. Pass loose in the boat. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's over here. Oh. 
Yeah! On the top water. That was bomb. That was bomb. Whew, he was so hard to reel in, though. Huh? Let's, 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 let's see if we get another one. Well, this reel is so messed up now. Near impossible to reel that thing in. Oh, there it goes. I can't reel. All of a sudden, it just seized completely again. Oh, my God. Well, guys, <laughs> this reel seems to have had it. I can barely reel it in anymore. I think this challenge has finally kicked my butt. I'm, I'm exhausted, man. I am tired now. I can barely get this reel to work anymore, and I'm exhausted. I, my arms feel like jello. They are about to fall off. This heavy metal rod, this heavy solid metal reel has just kicked my butt. But we had a great day. I actually managed to make it work. I managed to catch a bunch of nice fish and to double up on antique equipment. A metal rod from the 1940s, a metal reel from the 1960s, and a bunch of lures from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. This is insane, guys. What a blast. I am completely bushed. Completely, completely exhausted after this. This was an insane day. What a great day, one I'm never gonna forget. So, as far as the antique store fishing challenge, for $50, we found a rod, a reel, and a bunch of antique lures. We came out on a lake and we made it work. That is a challenge complete. This challenge is done. It is complete. Guys, if you want to try this yourself, head out to your local antique mall, your local antique store, and try to find something truly antique. Challenge yourself and fish it the way it comes. Fish the lures with the rusty old bent hooks. Fish the reel just the way it is. Fish the rod just the way it is. And you're gonna have an absolute blast. What a great day. I encourage you guys to get out there and try something like this yourselves. A lot of you requested this. So, if you have any other challenges that you'd like to see me try and tackle, go ahead, leave it in the comments down there for me, guys. I'll be more than happy to try to make a video out of that one, too. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you learned a little something. And if you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you want to see me make a video out of. I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those guys. But most importantly, subscribe to that channel, guys. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed, because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time from beautiful North Florida, smashing large mouths on ancient antique equipment. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.